Welcome, Welcome home, home, Master. master. <laughs> Welcome to the Marshmallow Maid Cafe. Where we'll make all your sweetest dreams come true. Please take a seat wherever you like, and we'll be right with you. We'll make sure you have a good time, whether you like it or not. <sighs> Bella. She, she's kidding, Master. I'm sure your time here will be just wonderful. Is this your first time here, Master? I don't think I've seen you here before, and I have a really good memory for faces. Especially ones as cute as yours. Ooh, it is. How exciting. Well, you're about to get spoiled then. It's pretty calm around this time of the day, so you've got two cute maids all to yourself. If that makes you uncomfortable, I can go, master. No, no, Lily. <laughs> Come on. What guy doesn't want to have a cute girl in a maid outfit on either side of him? Right, master? You wouldn't want either of us to go, would you? <laughs> If you're certain it's no bother, then I can stay. How about this? I'll go fetch a drink for our dearest master while you two get to know each other. Mm, but it's my- Break a leg, Lily. Bella? Uh, um, so, what brings you here, master? Right. The cafe. Right. You're probably hungry, I figure. It's only my first week, and Bella's supposed to be teaching me the ropes, but she's a little, you know. But she really means well, Master. I'm sure you'll enjoy her professional approach a lot more than my stumbling. Don't mind. I... I'm doing a good job. Master... You're really kind. I've been really scared of messing up an order. Or dropping something because I don't like people getting angry at me. But... I don't know how to explain it. Even though you've only been here a few minutes. I'm really at ease sitting next to you. <laughs> Please don't take that the wrong way. You're still a valued customer, and... I hope I didn't miss too much. You two seem to be getting awfully close to each other. N no I was just telling Master about how I'm new. And I still make little mistakes here and there. So... Aw, <laughs> there's no need to downplay yourself like that, Lily. Don't you agree she's the cutest maid here, Master? Don't make him say something like that, Bella. Come on, come on. Don't mind her, Master. Are you saying I'm not cute? Would you not like to have me sit beside you just like Lily while you enjoy your tea? <laughs> I'm only teasing. How about you tell us a little more about yourself, Master? Mm hmm You've been talking so much about us in the cafe, but we're also really interested in you. I wonder, what kind of master are you? What do you do for a living? Really? <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Not bad for a Ricky, master. But you seem so tense. Is there anything that's worrying you? Maybe causing some kind of stress? Lily, isn't that a bit too personal? He only just got here. Maybe. But I feel some kind of connection. That I haven't felt with any other customer before. If it's fine with you, Master, I'd like to make sure you're completely at ease and relaxed. If there's anything we can do to alleviate some stress, I bet he's thinking of a few things. Uh, not like that, Bella. Oh, I know. How about...
bounce, a relaxing shoulder massage, while you drink your tea. Getting your hands on him so soon, Lily? N oh, shush, Bella. I only want to help Master relieve some of his stress. Look, his shoulders are all tensed up. It's not healthy to walk around like this. Plus, he won't get to enjoy the tea to the fullest. It's just some tea. How's that feel, Master? <laughs> I bet. I've always been told my massages feel really good. I can really feel that tenseness leaving your body, Master. Of course. Who wouldn't want a cute girl needing their shoulders? Bella? I'm not saying you should stop. And I don't think Master is thinking anything of the sort either. His face is all blushy and red. And look at that smile. What's wrong, Master? Is this the first time you've gotten this much attention from two cute girls? I'm really sorry for Bella's behavior. She's really not always like this. In fact, are you liking your tea, Master? I recognize the smell from here. You didn't order any specific tea, did you? Mm-hmm. Then I know what you're drinking. That's Bella's unique blend. It's not special at all. Mm-hmm. But it is. It's something really special. Would you like to know why, Master? There's nothing special about it. Would you, um... Maybe you like something to eat, Master? <laughs> I'll tell you, Master. The special part is... Bella only makes it for the customers she really likes. You're just making things up now, Lily. It's just some normal green tea. Nothing special or unique about it. Go ahead, Master. Tell her how much you like it. R really? I mean, I didn't put that much effort into it, but if you like it, that does make me kind of happy. For a first time, Master, I guess you're doing pretty well. That's pretty high praise coming from you, Bella. That's not- You know, Master. Bella is usually the kind of girl to put your cup of tea down and leave. I don't think I've ever seen her sit next to a customer like this. Lily. Let alone talk about how cute you look. <laughs> I think I get what she's trying to say, Master. How about I fed you one of our special homemade lemon pies? Don't you dare. That sounds delightful, right? I'll leave you and Bella for a moment while I get you a slice. I can't believe she'd leave me behind like this. How rude. Oh, well, yes, I did it too. But that was different. Entirely different. Drink your tea, Master. Do you really like it? Maybe I put a little more effort into it than I said. But still not too much. Not like I actually spent weeks trying to get the blend just right. <laughs> That's stupid. You do like it? Good. <laughs> That's good. You are a real gentleman, aren't you? Making Lily feel all special despite how clumsy she can be at first. And then you go and compliment my tea like that. Jeez. If I weren't such a refined maid, I might even fall for you. Not that it wouldn't be nice to have a master to call mine or something. Maybe I... Jeez, what am I even saying? A fresh warm lemon pie for master. Was I interrupting something? No, no, not at all. Nothing was being uh, said here. Nothing important. Hmm. 
I think I understand. Well, I'll take my spot on our master's other side again. Aren't you enjoying this a little too much, master? Drinking my special tea blend. Eating my homemade lemon pie. Well, well you've, you've got, got a cute, cute mate pressed, pressed up against, against either, either side, side of you. you. Maybe we should charge him extra. Then he wouldn't come back, Bella. You think he'd do that? Would you leave us, master? He wouldn't, right? He'll come back lots more. I'll even greet you nicely next time if that's what it takes. He must be very special to her, if Bella's willing to go that far, Master. Oh, shush. I'm just being a good employee, making sure our customers come back. But, um, if you do come back, make sure to do it while I'm on shift, okay? And me too. You have to come back when it's just the two of us again. You have to promise us that, alright? Mm-hmm. Promise us you'll let us spoil and pamper you again. I'll even treat you to something special if you come back. Hmm? You have to get going? What a shame. Well, I guess it can't be helped. Remember your promise, okay, Master? You'd better. If you forget to come back, you might end up with two very angry maids at your door. Don't threaten him like that, Bella. She's just kidding, Master. But we really would be very sad if you didn't return. Thank you for dining with us today at the Marshmallow Maid Cafe. Uh, uh, yes, thank you, thank you. She'll learn one of these days. I'll make sure to practice lots for when you return, Master. And maybe Bella might even learn how to smile. Lily! Have a nice day. Goodbye, Master. Thank, Thank you, you for, for visiting. visiting.